Well, hello YouTube. Uh, <coughs> I've just watched Doctor Who and the absolutely incredible. What an episode. Uh, you know, I waited, waited a long time for this. And uh, it just completely blew me away. I, I think this has been the best modern Doctor Who episode, I, for me, I've seen since David Tennant some of his episodes. As you know, I'm not a big fan of Matt Smith. And uh, I've just been completely blown away. What an intense episode. And damn, I could have just sat through another hour of it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, interesting point is, uh, obviously we do it with Davros. Love the whole time twist thing, you know. Little Davros in the hand field. I love the, the concept of the hand, hand mines, you know. Uh, just, you know, and he stood there saying, you know, come along and, it, and it's fucking Davros. You know, as a kid, and, you know, of his staff thinking, well, why didn't he remember, you know, you go through all this, you know, all the errors of the old thing of it all in this. And obviously it must have forgotten, you know, when it was a kid, like, didn't connect the dots or, or whatever. And, and then the old, like, the dots has gone into hiding and then Missy turns up and freezes time with the other planes like a time college or so it's like a child's play for her. And then there's a little hint that when the doctor was a little girl. So, you know, obviously after Capaldi, I think it will be a woman who will be the next doctor that's coming. Not now, but in the near future. Uh, you know, and uh, we got into the Clara business. She was just at school, leaving normal life after big build up at last one. Like the old thing of when, uh, Missy contacts his unit to get their attention to swap to the docs at last will and testament and all. And she went you got you went into a bit of a relationship with the docs uh, and they worked out where they were and then the time time manipulated the way back, you know, vortex manipulator all the way back to whenever and you know the docs were there fucking looking super cool and like a rock star banging the tube with a guitar on a tank. I mean I, I just bust out in stitches. But the old thing that I, I mean, I was going to say the snake dude with the Mara, and I thought, is that the Mara? But like, I, no, it's not. So, so, so we got into uh, the old thing, the Dark Lord Davros is uh, wanting you, and uh, he's died, uh, the Doctor's enough, and, and then it all builds up of things with Missy, the Doctor, and it's a trap, and, and the Doctor's I'm going to go, and uh, it all ends up there, you know, the guy with the Dalek agent uh, in the seventh medieval times. Uh, the Daleks are following close behind, take the TARDIS, and uh, that's it. And, and, then, and then the rest of the episode is like, obviously they're on the planet's being cloaked, which was a nice little twist. And, and then it's just him and Davros, and, and, and like blaming each other, like, do you know what I mean? Because, you know, if you had to save that little kid, you know, the Daleks wouldn't have fucking existed, but he did, you know, when that little kid said I'm called Davros and he saved him. And and Davros is going on about points of compassion and and, and his his own creations and all this and and the and, and the thing between them both is pretty fucking amazing. It was really intense. She just wanted more of it. Do you know what I mean? Then Clara got vaporized, well Missy got vaporized, which is it. we know she jumped out into another time frame or teleported out. And Clara will have survived. That's obvious. And uh, you know, uh, fucking Tardis gets done, and then it all finishes where the Doctor's there at the end with a fucking Dalek gun, fucking ready. Uh, you know, getting ready to do a little dab or something to save my friends in the future. I mean, this whole episode was absolutely marvelous, and and you were completely locked into it completely locked into it and you just can't break off from it, do you know what I mean? And I just found the whole thing of it were uh, so intense, it was unbelievable that, that Davros is dying and even though he's dying he's, he's still going to spite the Doctor, do you know what I mean? And it's, that's probably the Doctor calling me now, but I will answer when I finish the video. But even, you know, it's still wanting to, you know, win his final victory. It wasn't a trap or not. He, he, 
you know, it were all like, you know, I can't control my fucking creations and they just want blood and, and you know, just wanted to kill maximum extermination. But, you know, obviously I don't, I'm not, well, I'm sort of half and half with Davros, but I don't think you should kill him off. I've always said that they should because he never says what's the fucking purpose, really. Do you know what I mean with a lot of people? Because the old Daleks always make him look like a bit of a dick. You know, he thinks he's going to roll them and then suddenly they're all fucking going the other way. Do you know what I mean? You know, they all turn on him. But tonight's episode, it just went so quick for me. I could have sat through and it, it, it was like, just as just, just my teeth were biting on me, it finished. So, where does this leave the story out for the Doctor, obviously? I thought they were going to build up to Davos over the like 13 episodes, but obviously there's more going on now. So, we didn't sort of get much of the overall story out, you know, we get a little link, don't you? But obviously we'll probably get that next week. But I, I think the big bad this uh, is probably somehow Davros is going to survive towards the end, some scheme. And, and, that, and it was nice to see the Daleks on top form again for being truly malevolent and evil, because I found that they degraded them a bit in the last series. Do you know what I mean? And this time, because they're ruthless, aren't they, Daleks? You know, they all history, and it'd be nice to go back to, to Scarrow again in the pre Khaled Fall War, which I'm really hoping we get to see some of that. So that's it anyway. Uh, obviously, there's a lot to come. Uh, I'm going to watch this again now on iPlayer, because uh, I, I just need to get into it. I think one of my friends phoned me because he's obviously excited about it. So please subscribe to my videos, share, what a buzz on tonight's Doctor Who, definitely superb, loved it, please share and subscribe, let me know your views, uh, I'll see you on the next video.